To start, select the sound file and drag it to your audio channel. Note that the cursor icon changes. On the bottom of the waveform, it is a speaker. When the cursor is over the top portion of the waveform, it becomes a magnifying glass. By left clicking, you can zoom in and out, as well as pan left and right on the waveform to find the spot you're looking for. Once the file is loaded, we look for the beginning of the first measure. Beat map analysis is a tricky science and almost always requires human intervention to get it just right. Note here that the first marker starts a little bit in on the waveform. We're going to have to move it back to make sure we get it right. In this case, it looks like the automatic beat map went pretty good. We'll play the file and see how it sounds. We can see at the beginning of the fifth bar that the markers line up. While the waveform is playing, we can zoom out and select a new section later on to verify that our markers are placed correctly. By default, playback is quantized to one bar and beat synced with the master tempo of Ableton. Scroll through and verify as the wave file is playing that the measure markers match up with the beat. You can now click the bottom of the waveform and if everything is synced up correctly, you will get quantized replay from the position closest to where you're clicking. You may notice slight discrepancies between the marker and the beat. You can adjust this by selecting the marker and matching it up correctly with the beat. Many changes to the markers will affect the entire sound file in the straight through warping mode that we are currently working in. We'll go through this process again with another sound file, just to make sure you got it. Load the next sound into an audio channel. Once loaded, find the start of the first measure. Left-click the top of the waveform and zoom in to the left. This song presents a problem. The intro isn't exactly four measures, and the timing is a little bit odd, so we're going to find the first beat and put the marker there. We'll do this by watching the playback marker. When it gets to the first beat, that's where we'll need to put our first marker. It looks like the first beat is in the middle of where Ableton thinks measure 8 is, so we'll zoom in. Sure enough, the first beat is right near the marker 8.3.3. We'll pull this marker over to the beginning of the beat and set 1.1 as that marker. Don't worry, we'll go back and make sure that the beginning of the song has some intro. This is just so that we can get the warping right. Now, go to the marker at the beginning of the next bar. Align it correctly with the beat. Once we've done this, this is a good foundation for the rest of the song. As long as there are no tempo changes in the rest of the song, any adjustments that we'll need to make to markers will be minor. Now, scrub through the rest of the song by finding positions later, clicking on the bottom of the waveform, and listening to where they start. As long as they're matched up with the beat, we're in good shape. In straight warping mode, the markers act like an accordion, so that any changes that you make on one marker affect all of the others. If you make marker adjustments at the end of the song, if there's a tempo change you're not aware of, you might throw off markers at the beginning of the song. So make sure that after you've scrubbed through to the end of the file, that you go back and check the beginning again. It looks like our markers are set correctly, so now we're going to go back and fix that intro problem we ran into earlier. We see here, bars before the 1.1 position are treated as negative. This way, we can find a start position that matches our timing that might not have had the audio cue points necessary for us to put together a good map. This technique is very useful in dealing with songs with ambient or beatless intros. Once you're done, make sure to click save in the sample panel. This concludes the Remix.net tutorial of Ableton Simple Beat Mapping. Visit us on the web 
at www.remix.net. Thanks a lot.